Good evening friends, Paul here. I'm mixing up a mixture of white vinegar and baking soda with about one third of water to make an electroplating solution to silver plate this 1889 British Army six month sobriety medal issued to British Army troops in India, 1889. Pretty cool historical piece here. Silver plated on the back. Look how beautiful that is. And the silver plating is totally worn off the front. So we're doing an electroplating experiment here this evening. The metal is hooked up to the negative lead on a 12 volt regulated power supply. Thank you, Charles, for sending that out, as well as a 90% Kennedy half dollar, 1964, hooked up to the positive lead of the 12 volt power supply. We don't want it touching the bottom, so I have a piece of Gorilla tape here. I tried duct tape before doing this video, and guys, it just doesn't stick to the sides of a plastic container. Let's see if Gorilla tape <laughs> sticks to the sides. I mean, this stuff is... I've used it a lot. Those of you who know about Gorilla Tape. Actually, that's sticking. That's pretty cool. Check that out. As I put in the negative lead, wow, man, that thing is fizzing big time. I definitely don't want to be touching that. Actually, I'm detecting a sulfur smell off that. Let's leave that for about 10 minutes. All right, let's get ready to take this out, friends. You can see some brown scum around here around the edge is this brown scum and the water is kind of this grayish green color. Let's take this away and take out our metal. Wow. Man, that thing is black. <laughs> oh, check that out, man. That has definitely changed the color and not for the better, at least by first appearance. Wow, look what happened to our Kennedy half dollar. That thing is green. Wow. Remember what that looked like before, guys? All right, let's clean these up and see where we're at. Wow, guys, huge thumbs up on the DIY do-it-yourself electroplating silver process. Note how the process eviscerated, dissolved, gunk around all the lettering and numbers here. And also I'm noticing that the shoulders of the metal that we're showing uh, copper as a base metal are silvered over, including the jump ring here. The back is absolutely beautiful. That's the original silver plating. I mean, look at, the, look at that shining. But the front is just, it's not totally silver. There's a brassious, brassy quality to it. Now, I did clean up the coin. As you can see here, it's not as shiny as it was before. I had to scrub this thing pretty aggressively with vinegar and baking soda to bring it back to this condition. So I'm assuming that much silver was imparted through the electric, electroplating medium, the acidic electroplating medium, to the metal.